The earliest form of hyperspace accessing technology was harnessed in the designs of Centerpoint Station above Corellia and its smaller twin sister ruins called Sinkhole Station in the black hole cluster called the Ma. Centerpoint Station was originally designed by the Celestials, possibly from the timeless realms of mind called Beyond Shadows or the parallel dimensional galaxy of inverse other space, who are a now long forgotten form of life that once inhabited the galaxy before 100,000 light years BBY. They may have been built by this lost species using the Killix, a hive minded insectoid species of Alderan and Alsacan or the force-sensitive mind-walkers of Abeloth's homeworld in the Ma as slave laborers. Although the larger center point station is located above Corellia and the smaller sinkhole station in the Ma, it is likely their original usages occurred in the opposite locations, with sinkhole station being used to align the Corellian system and center point having been used to create the Ma. Center point and sinkhole stations were built to harness the anti gravity energy of their core glow points and to channel this energy in a form of hyperspace tractor beam capable of gravitationally imploding stars, moving planets, transporting distant objects through wormholes and creating black holes. Its method of accomplishing all of these feats was by harnessing its interior artificial star's axis of rotation and then inducing a supernova event on the artificial star, the station's glow point engine, and then by controlling the amount of gamma radiation generated in the core and aligning the wavelengths of its tachyonic beam projector. Although their ruins were long inhabited by the Corellians and the Mindwalkers as surrogate space stations, the method of working these stations only came to be understood and once again used by the earliest generations following the Battle of Yavin. Although the gravitic polarization device, in the form seen here as being about the size of any common being's head, was believed to have first been developed by Skakoan ex-techno union scientist Kul Teska for use by Count Dooku during the Clone Wars, the development of similar technologies in super weapons projects, such as the four Death Star models, the Tarkin Mobile Ion Super Laser Cannon, and the Starfighter Sun Crusher, all products of the New Order era MA installation. Since then, warrants a better understanding of the origins of its core engineering. The technology of gravitic polarization was originally developed by the GRI Enclave in their construction of semi-stable wormholes called hypergates. In the capstone of a hypergates archway was contained a similar type of technology to the gravitic polarization device designed to be much smaller and for a different use by Kul Teska for Count Dooku many eons later. While Teska's model used miniature servo motors to position the targeting beams, the archway of the hypergate itself served that function in the GRI use of this technology, but both used a much smaller form of the celestial technology, originally intended in building center point and sinkhole stations, of projecting an anti-gravity tractor beam at hyperspatial speeds to induce the formation of a wormhole. The intention for the development of the gravitic polarization technology by Kul Teska during the Clone Wars was to weaponize what was originally merely an inconvenient side effect of its use by the Gree Enclave for instant interstellar travel. A fixed gravitic polarization beam can cause a star to supernova 
because along the width of such a beam a wormhole can be expanded through the core of the star thus collapsing its capacity to sustain nuclear fusion. The GRI used gravitic polarization technology to create semi-stable wormholes between fixed location hypergates on a series of star systems united into the GRI enclave not long before about 100,000 BBY, when their expansionism finally encountered their outer rim neighbors, the Qua species, and their regional empire, the Qua Holdings. These two species survived their initial border disputes with one another to eventually form a symbiotic society hundreds of thousands of light years prior to the First Galactic Republic. They lived in harmony with one another and shared technologies from 100,000 to around 25,000 BBY when the Rakata Empire eventually overwhelmed both the Gri and the Qua species. The hypergates that were used in the founding of the Gree Enclave, using gravitic polarization beam technology to generate semi-stable wormholes, was apparently similar to technology developed by the Qua more or less simultaneously by coincidence. However, the Qua had developed it to a much higher form much faster. Due to the rigid caste system of the Gree Enclave, where the material synthesis technology operators had become the primary holders of political power, as well as their peculiar physiology, standing only 0.8 to 1.2 meters in height on six tentacles. Their advancement in the gravitic polarization technology used in the hypergates had dwindled, while the same technology had been applied by the Qua to a much greater height of form and functioning during the same amount of time. The Saurian physiology of the Qua, whose world of origin was the idyllic outer rim planet Dathomir, inhabited later only by enormous semi-sentient rancor monsters and thick-skinned swift woof o worms placed there by the Qua to thwart the Wakata invasion around 30,000 BBY brought them to almost worship the gravitic polarization beam technology, and they enshrined their infinity gates built around that technology in megalithic pyramids called star temples. The method used by the infinity gates allowed anyone standing inside the star chamber transport bay within the monumental star temple to be transported to any other location in the galaxy instantly. The main operations center, controlling and coordinating the use of any and all such temple gates, was hidden deep below the prime temple on Dathomir, and could only be accessed via the other infinity gates. The Qua called their version of the gravitic polarization beam, wormhole creating technology, the power of infinity. However, their lofty placement in their culture for the use of this form of technology did not prevent their species from degenerating into the nomadic tribal Kui species following the Rakatan invasion. The technology of the Qua Infinity Gates was, however exalted by them then, no different in its basic principles from the gravitic polarization beam technology used to create semi-stable wormholes in the hypergates of the Gree Enclave. Both were based on essentially the same principle as the hyperdrive used in starships would be many thousands of years later as well, which was also, and perhaps originally, recognized and used by the Celestials in constructing centerpoint and sinkhole stations. This technology harnessed gravity as a force to control time dilation, using magnetic polarization to stabilize the massive gamma ray emission. This form of gravitic polarization beam created a semi-stable instantaneous wormhole between the original and targeted locations, and could thus transport biological matter safely through hyperspace 
even without a vessel to protect them from the effects of the void's vacuum.